Welcome, everyone, to a very special edition of Tim's Vinyl Confessions. I've got two buddies on with me this morning. One, you're no stranger to Jex Russell. Here he is. And uh, you've also seen Marty LeBlanc on here before. This is our first uh, Zoom summit, uh, meeting of the mindless, we'll call it. Uh, <laughs> and uh, no, we're here to talk about something that um, Jex and I joke about. It's, ah, it's never coming. It just always seems so long in between them because it's always such a good time. But uh, we're talking about the second annual Vinyl Mania in Riverview, New Brunswick. So, yeah, if you're in the area, listen up. This is going to be a good time. And uh, this is Marty's baby. So I'm going to turn it over to Marty and uh, basically just say, hey, tell tell people why they should make that trip to uh, Riverview for anywhere in the Maritimes or even Maine. Um it's always a good time. Jax and I will be there. I've got some stuff that um, I'm going to have with me to talk about. But Marty, tell us about Vinyl Mania and uh, you're selling some cool thing or you're selling some <clears throat> tickets on cool things. Anyway, <clears throat> I'm going to clear my throat here. Yeah. Uh, please take it away so I can stop talking. <laughs> Seems like you're more nervous than me there, uh, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just have another one. Well, superstar, you know. <laughs> you are. Well, yeah. basically, like I said, it's a Vinyl Mania 2. We had to find a different venue because uh, the venues we've been in, basically, were so small. <laughs> yeah. So the Coverdale Center, it's uh, pretty well, it's going to be our home there for uh, quite a bit. And uh, this time around, I was going to do some prizes, but I just found out one of my old customers and somebody that has been in the music scene for a while just found out he has cancer. And um, they created a GoFundMe account for him. There's going to be a benefit uh, concert coming up with uh, the Monoxides, Iron Giant, all these known Atlantic bands are going to be playing. So I decided the prizes I'm going to do for the show, I'm going to donate uh, part of the portion of the tickets to them as well uh part of the emission awesome and awesome. Awesome. i got three really crazy prizes to give away so, <laughs> okay uh, can you reveal to us the prizes i know i know what they are but yeah give the folks a sneak preview. i can turn this around here Let's see here again so basically this is one of them can you see that uh, it's, I see it says Motorhead. Yeah, Whoa. it's the 40th anniversary of Motorhead's box set. Oh. I don't know if you can see it there. Oh, there you Ooh. go. And it comes with uh, seven or eight uh, vinyl, one uh, concert booklet, a 40-page book, you know, 40th anniversary, 40-page book, and also a game <laughs> that comes with loaded dice and poker chips. So oh. when you open the box, that it actually comes <laughs> like a board game. That's actually you know. Cool. And That's if you cool. go online, you can actually see what it looks like. I posted it on the, uh, on basically the Record Expo site, so you can see. Mm. And then uh, Frank's Music uh, donated a hundred dollar gift card. So that way uh, you can go and buy vinyl, even T-shirts, whatever you want. Yeah, very cool. And last but not least, a really nice turntable. Can you guys see me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, I wasn't cool. sure. Yeah, <laughs> no, we're just, we're just taking it in. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's a uh, LP and number one turntable. With a nice, clean, you know, never used turntable needle. I kind of put a uh, Johnny Cash mat on there. Ah, there you and go. also a vintage Livewire 45 connector. Ooh. You'll never see those ever again. Yeah. yeah. The only yeah. thing is, you don't need an app. You just have to plug it in and it starts playing. There's Bluetooth on there. You know, for, for the beginners, it's actually pretty good. And yeah, it looks, it looks awesome. It's not a crossley. <laughs> <laughs> There's that. And the tickets are basically look like this with the basically old WrestleMania type uh, logo. And 
300 tickets that we're going to sell at five bucks a pop or uh, five tickets for 20 bucks. Okay. And Very like, what's, well, I can post it below, but what's the, what's the easiest way for people to like, like, what's the Facebook page? Is it, um, uh, well, it's going to be on the record expo site on Facebook. Rec okay. I'll leave a link and, to that. And the group as well, the Vine Menu 2 group. And plus, you know, uh, Moncton local scene, PEI local scene. <laughs> There's like what? I'm going to need 20 music related scenes on the Facebook group. So. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. There are people that aren't, you know, watching this that aren't in the area. The Maritimes is a pretty small group of provinces all meshed together. I mean, you can, you know, what is it? You drive from one end to the other in a couple of days or whatever. I have no sense of time, but, but yeah, you'll get people from Nova Scotia and, and no, Nova Scotia. Um, <laughs> PEI and and uh, I don't know. Do you ever get anybody from Newfoundland? I did actually a couple yeah. people sometimes. That's and, a drive. Uh, when you, yeah. when I had the store itself, they would come in and they didn't know all the record stores in Moncton, right? So you just have to open the phone book. Well, back then, and rip out a page. Here you go. Have fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you ever get anybody yeah. from like Maine or New Hampshire? Or I actually had a couple of people from California at the store come on one time. Wow. And uh, for the record fair, there's a guy in Ottawa called the Birdman Sound Exchange. He came down because uh, his family's from Fredericton. And uh, he had a couple of tables. And you should have seen the stuff he had, like imports from Japan and, you know, Europe. Stuff you would have never seen, like the covers. Like there was one, it was uh, Creatures and Destroyers, and it was a concert for Kiss, 1983 in Ottawa. And yeah. the cover, you know, Creatures of the Night, how Ace is on front with Eric, but the bleep Ace and is actually Vinnie Vincent with his makeup. Yeah, yeah I've seen that. Yeah. 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 That, yeah, that's that a... one they were selling for like $800. I don't know why. They probably picked it up for 100 but, Yeah. Uh, wow. Nothing like maximizing your profit. Um, <laughs> yeah, and I'll, I'll you know, I, I can certainly vouch for um, the venue, the Coverdale Center, uh, besides having a cool name. Um, the uh, <laughs> It's a nice, spacious venue. And yeah, I, I you know, in years past, look, it's always a good time going to these expos. But in, in years past, um, it's kind of like, excuse me, yeah, pardon me, excuse me. Coverdale Center is nice, wide open, lots of space. And it's just a good time, you know, and, and I've been to, I think I've been to every one of them now since, since uh, you've been doing it there. And to be, to be perfectly honest, like there, there aren't a lot of things that I figure that I'll find out in the wild, but I still like to go for the experience. It's always fun. Oh, it's uh, good, I, you it's, know, to talk to people and stuff like that, just yeah. even if you have 20 bucks, everyone's yeah. in one spot from the Maritimes. Right. So, yeah. And uh, I always, I can never remember their names. There's a really sweet couple that always has 45s, and I always have to stop there and pick up a couple of pitcher sleeves. Yeah, um, always something. There, there's always something to find at that table. Yeah. And uh, shameless plug, shameless plug, while you're there, uh, Marty's also got an in, it's a, it's another prize pack that's going to be given away in there. Um, For free. Tell us, tell us about that. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, Tim donated a uh, sort of like a tote bag that you can put your stuff in and a uh, his second series of books. Uh, actually, I haven't uh, had a chance to filter it yet. I actually should keep it for myself. But uh, <laughs> yeah, and uh, it seems really interesting. And I added a couple of records inside of uh, the basket with uh, more gift cards. If you like Tim's. <laughs> Uh, and, Tim, uh, Tim Hortons, that is not. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah, I donated my uh, my YNT book down for the count, the YNT album review, and just in case somebody wins it that's never heard YNT, I also threw in from my own collection because I had a spare. I threw in the in Rock We Trust CD. And well, exactly. uh, that's a little yeah, game so nobody ever had a chance to listen to Bungie T. They have, what, 30 albums? <laughs> well, yeah, there's 12 studio albums, a bunch of compilations, a bunch of live albums, and uh, yeah. You know, last time, I seven, so. last time I was there, um, yeah, I, I did see a couple of Y&T cassettes for sale. So, yeah. Uh, 
And also, um, I just want to announce that uh, Marty was kind enough to allow me to sell some stuff when I'm there. I'm going to have physical copies of both of my books, so Unspooled and the YMT book. And I'm going to be selling them at pretty good prices, like just for the day only, cheaper than you can get them online. And uh, I'll also have some, um, you'll see me there. I'll be pestering everybody. I'm going to have some stickers. I'll be handing out to people. Those are free. And, uh, you know, Marty's uh, kind enough to let me do that. So, yeah, um, it's just a good time. I know, like, Jax and I, we talk about this, the months in between them. We always say, man, when is this coming? You know, when is this going to happen? By the well, way, yeah, we should miss so it. It's like, I think the fall just went by, right? And then all yeah. of a sudden you're excited for the spring one coming up. It goes so fast. It, uh, it, 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 it does. Yeah, it does and it doesn't. Maybe, by the way, Saturday, May the 11th is when yeah. this is happening in Riverview. If you are in the area, I know we got a lot of people on here watching. Um, and, uh, you know, it's worth the trip. You know, you can, uh, you'll find something, you know, you'll find something. It might not be something that you, you may find a, a grail item you've been looking for. You may just find some, hey, this is cool. I've never seen this particular variant of this album before. And it's quite, a, I'm always impressed by the range of, of ages of people that are there. You yeah. know, it's, it's kind of a family event in some ways. You know, I'm I'm one of those people. I always like seeing what shirts, what band shirts people are wearing and stuff. So, hey, um, I saw a kid that was ten wearing a Motorhead shirt. There you <laughs> so, go. Hope for the yeah. future. So, <laughs> I don't know so, if the yeah, parents I mean, will listen, listen to Motorhead, but you know. <laughs> yeah. Um. Uh, so Marty, I mean, you've been you've been doing this for like how long have you been involved in this? The like the the. The, the music scene down there. Like, I know you had live wire, but you've been organizing these. It seems like you never stop organizing something. Like you're always working towards the next thing. Do you want to, I don't know where to start. Seriously. Yeah. Uh, well, basically uh, remember me and Jax talked a long time ago it was uh, I started when I was 10, my brother gave me his tape collection and oh my god and like he had like black Sabbath, iron maiden stuff. I never seen. And just looking at the covers, like, <laughs> you know and uh i couldn't i didn't have a tape deck <laughs> so finally i asked my parents for like a tape deck with a cd player and they bought me one for christmas and my first cd was black album by metallica never you know it started then, uh, many. and i was starting doing the sussex flea markets and all that and that's how i got into records like in 97 I was going through boxes of records and all of a sudden finding like Led Zeppelin 4 and Aerosmith. It's like, and I never heard of Aerosmith back then when I was 17 until I put it down. It's like, and it's like, isn't it the guys from Get It Up? <laughs> yeah. I never knew they did albums back then in the 70s. Mm. And then uh, the record fair came up. Uh, nobody was doing it twice a year. In 2002, it was only once, and it was over at the downtown flea market and the market. So uh, I decided to just try it out, and we had, I think, 20 tables of vendors, maybe 100 people go to the door, you know. And like you said, it's uh, it wasn't just for buying records. A lot of people knew a lot of vendors, a lot of customers who were talking about, you know, what they have in their collection, and I'll trade you for this copy, for my copy, and, you know. Sure, like yeah. you're at a coffee shop, but <laughs> yeah, it's it's a great atmosphere if you're a music fan, and you know you can go in and it's worth the price of admission if you go in and you don't come up with anything. You've had a you've you spent it you spent a, a you know an afternoon or something. Just hey, Tim, you know you went to the ATM how many times? Twice at one place. <laughs> I remember the year that it was at the it was at a it was in a, ho a hotel uh, conference room downtown Boston. That's the first time we ever met. Yeah, yeah. No, no sooner than I I got there, I had a little cash on me, and I started finding. What did I find? I found like the first Europe on vinyl and part of graffiti on vinyl. I'm like, all right, I got to get some more cash out. Uh, <laughs> So yeah, um, and yeah, and it's and we've kind of followed you around, and it's pretty amazing that I mean, people are coming to it. You survived COVID, you know, because we yeah, weren't able to exactly. do it, and 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 now it's it's going strong. And like I said, I like to see the fact that younger people are interested in buying used music, no matter you know, no matter what the format. There, I mean, I've I've 
uh, found eight tracks of these things. You know, I, I think I found everything. I found vinyl. I found cassettes. I found CDs. So uh, DVDs and Even yeah, lasers. Laser laser yeah, there Jackson's was one time laser. I found laser discs, and it was a birthday party for Lamy. For nice. 19, oh, yeah, I've heard of that. 1983. Yeah. I sold it, of course, but <laughs> just watching it's like, wow. And never made YouTube. I couldn't find it on YouTube anymore. Mm. That's interesting because most things end up on YouTube after a while. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, so, it, for it, the record it, fair, also... just to mention, uh, the best record fair I ever did get was a Kiss Expo. Like, uh, I uh, never uh, thought it would have been a Kiss Expo, that, especially that with Eric one? Singer as Eric a special Singer, guest. Yeah. Yeah, I would have loved to have gone to that one. Yeah, oh, man. I wasn't living in Moncton yet. I, I missed it. I I would I would feel I feel I like I'd like to have been at that one, but I actually did meet Eric uh, in two thousand when he was playing with Alice, and I got his autograph. Oh, yeah. So uh, yeah, that's my that's a, that's the only kiss. I tried to get Alice to come place. pick him up, but Eric said you have like five grand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty cool and. Not only is it a good time, but as as Marty said, it's this year. It's um, for a very very good cause. Uh, so it's you know definitely uh, the more people that show up, the more we can help, and and uh, you know the more we can, the more Marty can keep these going. We can have a fall one, and then we can have next spring, and then so yeah. Um, if you're in the Maritimes, and you know, take a drive to Riverview. It's a, you know, it's a nice little spot. I mean, and there's going to be more the... signs too because a lot of people get lost. Like, uh, yeah, for, yeah, it's a really hard place to find. But uh, I told everyone I'm going to have signs that uh, basically when you get to the bridge, I'll say Expo, turn left, then Expo five minutes, Expo two minutes, and then you're there. Yeah, yeah. Look for signs. Yeah, you know, look for signs that say Coverdale because it's not just the Coverdale Center. It's a little air. It's a little suburb or whatever. And yeah. you know. I, I remember, like, I, I, I had an aunt and uncle that lived in uh, in Riverview in the 80s. And I remember, you know, going down there and seeing, you know, Coverdale. And I was huge. I mean, still am, but I was a huge Whitesnake fan. Like, that's cool. So, <laughs> yeah. So, it's, yeah. It was um, meant to be. Yeah, yeah. It was meant so, to be. So, Marty, that's, was there anything else that you wanted to let people know about or? No, not really. Like, uh, doors open at 10. Uh, the admission sign is going to be there. We're going to be uh, selling tickets before the fair and during the fair as well, just to help Johnny out. And if you guys want, there's a GoFundMe account that's uh, make the, I think it's a Johnny Make Smile or a Make Johnny a Smile. And you can go there and just donate whatever you want. And the show's coming out in June tours. So. That's okay. going to be a good time. Really heavy. Bring the earplugs <laughs> if you really like heavy metal. Right on. Right on. And so the expo itself, or the Vinyl Mania itself, is Saturday, May 11th. It's coming up. You will see Jackson and I there. And, of course, you'll see Marty there as soon as you come in. And, um, yeah, can't wait. So, Marty, thanks for taking a little bit of time to uh, tell us about this. We'll post the link to the uh, some of the Facebook groups below where you, they can find out more and they can uh, maybe can, can people get on touch with you online and purchase tickets online? Is that something that you can do? Oh, exactly. Like uh, it's going to probably be like e transfer or knock on the door. So it doesn't matter yeah. to me. And if they want to pick up their tickets at the show, they can, because it's only June 1st. Right. So right on. Yeah. All right, everybody. That's the uh, vinyl media coming up in Riverview at the Coverdale center, May 11th. And, uh, we, you know, we'll, we'll do an aftermath video and see how it goes. But like, we want to see a big yeah. crowd there. And by the way, if you, if you go there and, you know, and, and you watch this, come find me. Say hello. That would be great. And yeah. don't forget, yeah. I will ha I will have my books on sale there, too. A few of them. You know, I'm, I, I didn't go crazy buying a bunch of them. But, yeah, uh, I'll be selling them at a pretty a, a Vinyl Mini exclusive price. So, all right, everybody. Thanks for watching this edition of Tim's Vinyl Confessions. Go uh, go Go look for some used vinyl. We'll see you later.